Can diabetes affect your kidneys? Stick around to find out. But first, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. My name is Ray. I'm a nurse practitioner who specializes in cardiology, hospital-based medicine. And in this video, I wanted to quickly talk to you about a very important risk factor for coronary artery disease, and that is diabetes. But diabetes not only uh, increases your risk of having uh, heart attacks and strokes, but it also can damage your kidneys. So if you have had uh, problems with diabetes, make sure that you are getting regular checkups and being seen by um, a kidney doctor at some point if you have any evidence of what we call chronic kidney disease, and that is measured by a simple uh, blood test. Um, it's called the a comprehensive metabolic panel, and that shows us your electrolyte levels, things like that. But your kidney function is measured by something called a creatinine and GFR. And if your creatinine is elevated, typically we want it to be less than 1.2 is normal. If it's uh, higher than 1.2, uh, you may have what we call chronic kidney disease. And if your GFR or your glomerular filtration rate, we want that number to be high. And if it's under 60, uh, you typically uh, might be diagnosed with some kind of uh, form of chronic kidney disease. So in today's video, I just wanted to quickly talk to you about the correlation with diabetes and chronic kidney disease, and that it's actually the number one cause of kidney failure. So today I had a patient that, you know, he came in um, because his potassium level was actually uh, pretty high. Come to find out, he was actually in acute kidney failure. And we also found out that unfortunately he is a very uncontrolled diabetic and he didn't even know about it. He did know that he had high blood pressure and unfortunately he was not taking his medications uh, like he was supposed to for the past several months. So that's very important because hypertension or uncontrolled high blood pressure is actually the second leading cause of kidney failure, diabetes being the number one cause of kidney failure. So anyway, uh, this channel is about heart disease, but uh, there are a lot of other things that can kind of coexist. And so I did want to talk to you a little bit quickly about the correlation between um, diabetes and uh, kidney disease. So again, make sure you guys are getting, you know, regular checkups with specialists uh, if needed, uh, you know, a kidney doctor. Typically, a primary care provider will assess for all these things, will get routine blood work, and if needed, they'll refer you to, you know, specialists as needed. So... Anyhow, thanks for watching, and uh, if you haven't su subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. Make sure that uh, you're uh, subscribing and uh, keep that notification bell so you can get notified whenever I post a new video. Thanks for watching. God bless you.